Paris Saint-Germain's first summer recruit, Vitinha, is one of FC Porto's latest revelations. Author of a solid season, he has had an impressive trajectory in recent months. Meanwhile, Luis Suarez has decided where he will be playing from next season, and you might be a little bit surprised by his choice. Sevilla are trying really hard to ensure that they don't end up selling star centre-back Jules Koundé, who is attracting a lot of attention from Barcelona. Manchester United might not be able to convince Cristiano Ronaldo into staying at Old Trafford, so Eric Ten Hag has decided which player he wants to replace the legendary Portugal international with. So, before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified of all the latest happenings in football. A year after his triumphant return, everything indicates that Cristiano Ronaldo will already pack his bags and leave Old Trafford. The Portuguese has thus, according to several English media outlets, requested to be sold. He particularly wants to play in the Champions League and has a lot of doubts about his management's ability to build a competitive team for the coming season. The future of the Portuguese star has a good chance of being written in a few hours' drive from Manchester, since Chelsea are pushing for his signature. Bayern Munich would also be a serious suitor. Anyway, Manchester United will need to find a suitable replacement, especially given the fact that Ronaldo scored 21 goals for them last season. According to the Daily Mirror, Anthony is the player they want to replace the former Juventus man with. The Ajax winger was already being followed by the Red Devils long before the rumours about the Portuguese, but this time Eric Ten Hag has let his leaders know that he wants him to take the place of CR7. The Dutch tactician has even put pressure to find his former player, whose price is estimated at more than 70 million euros. Note that he's not the only Ajax player targeted by the Red Devils, who would also go for Argentinian defender Lisandro Martinez, who could cost them around 40 million euros. All this while the soap opera of Frankie de Jong is still relevant. Suffice it to say that things will quickly change at Man United in the days to come. For the moment quite calm on arrivals, the FC Barcelona transfer window is ready to move up a gear, as Juan Laporta announced this Saturday. When we activate the second lever, we will work at a higher level. Our advantage is that a lot of players want to come here, he said, in particular at the start of the transfer window. Finally ready to invest, the Blaugrana club will accelerate on its summer tracks and Jules Koundé is part of the plans already boasting Gerard Piquet, Ronald Araujo and Eric Garcia while waiting for Andreas Christensen, FC Barcelona want a last reinforcement in this position. While still looking at Kalidou Koulibaly, FC Barcelona have not forgotten about Jules Koundé well. The 25-year-old French defender has an exit voucher this summer and Sevilla will be open to talks. However, this will not happen under any conditions. In competition with Chelsea in this case, Barcelona seem to have the advantage since the Blues are targeting Matej de Ligt. However, it will be necessary to raise the stakes economically. While the Blues offered 50 million euros last summer, the Blaugranas are ready to offer 45 million euros as revealed by Estadio Deportivo, an amount deemed insufficient by Sevilla who will not sell their star player at a price lower than that offered last summer. The Andalusians have not received any concrete offers for the moment. Still far from Sevilla's requirements in this case, Barcelona will have to assess their options and are likely to go for a cheaper alternative for the time being. At the age of 35, Luis Suarez is still hungry and the Uruguayan surely has one or two seasons at a good level ahead of him and that the clubs know it and it is for this reason that teams like Sevilla, Real Sociedad or Aston Villa have recently come to the news. FC Barcelona have even contacted their former striker to see if it was possible to repatriate him in the event of failure of signing Robert Lewandowski. On the other hand, it is obviously not in Europe that the gunslinger will continue his career. The 2021 Liga champion with Atletico Madrid, where he's played for the past two seasons, will thus commit to River Plate. All the Argentinian media are unanimous on this subject and according to DirecTV, the formalization of his signature could even happen in the coming days. At a press conference, Marcelo Gallardo did not even want to deny the rumor. Suarez and Borja, these are possibilities. I think at least one of the two will happen. Now he's recovering from a knee problem. Even if we could get him tomorrow, he wouldn't be able to play. We have to wait for his recovery, the time he will take. We can wait for that kind of play. We are calm, said the coach of the Argentine Giants. River Plate are set to lose Julian Alvarez in the coming days. The youngster is set to join Manchester City this month. Other players are also expected to leave, so signing someone like Suarez will really help the club in the short term. 
Out of nowhere, PSG decided to hijack Arsenal's bid for Vitinha and convinced the Portuguese midfielder to sign a five-year deal with them. The Parisians were fine with paying 40 million euros to Porto for the 22-year-old signature at a time when the Gunners were still haggling for a few millions. And in Vitinha, PSG have signed a player who has had a breakout campaign for Porto. Last summer, the youngster was not sure what to do about his future. He was not the player Sergio Conceição had in mind ahead of the 2021-22 campaign. However, the manager must have changed his mind because by the end of the campaign, the youngster had featured in 47 games, scored four goals and provided five assists. Vitinha was one of the standout performers in Portugal last term and one of the cornerstones behind FC Porto's domestic double. Technically gifted and capable of making a real difference due to his passing ability and dribbling, the diminutive midfielder is also very versatile. He can play as a midfielder, as a number 10 or even as a winger. This versatility was the key reason why he stood out throughout the campaign and was even voted best player of the month three times last season. However, things were different for him before that. The youngster was loaned out to Wolves in 2020 who also had the option to buy him. Vitinha didn't have the best of times at the Den managing just one goal and one assist in 22 games. Clearly, he struggled to adapt to English football and thus returned to FC Porto. But the youngster was always thought highly of during his time at Porto's fabled academy. Over the past year, the midfielder has definitely leveled up. He was a real star throughout the Euro Under-21 Championship where Portugal lost the final to Germany. Last March, he was given a chance to represent the senior side in a World Cup playoff following an injury to Ruben Neves. And today, we will be surprised if he doesn't get a ticket to Qatar 2022. The move is a real coup for PSG because Vitinha was also attracting a lot of interest from the likes of Man United, Barcelona and of course Arsenal who knew the qualities of the player they wanted to sign. For PSG though, this is a great move. Not only are they getting one of the most underrated talents in the game today, they're also signing a player who might be the perfect partner in midfield for Marco Verratti. His transfer is also likely to end Jorginho Reinaldum's ill-fated move to PSG.